a basic kind of a question that just kind of has to be asked. You're feeling good. You're totally clear. You've had, you know, as many negative tests as needed. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, I definitely, you know, I, I had the symptoms, you know, when I got it, when I had to pull out my fight, uh, you know, up until then I had just, I'd felt really tired and I didn't, you know, I, but I, I chalked it all up to being at the end of a fight camp and, and all that. But as soon as I got the positive test, like then all the symptoms hit me You know, I lost my selling, my taste, my body ached really bad and, uh, all that, but you know, I'm young and healthy. And fortunately it was, it was a really quick, uh, quick pass through. And you, uh, so you definitely would, your message to the public would be, you know, maybe take this thing seriously. Yeah. It's so, man, it, that's such a hard thing. It's so, so tough for me. I see so many, uh, so many sides of everything, but you know, I know for myself that, uh, you know, not to underplay it, it all, but I've been, I was sicker this year alone, you know, with, I, I ended, I got the flu this year, actually after my, my fight in Israel, I got the flu when I had gotten home. So, um, you know, but it, it, the weird thing about it is just how it affects everyone so differently. And, and, you know, I, I think it's important. And to me, I think it's just about being a good person and being a respectful person. And, and, uh, it, just because I don't want to wear a mask, you know, I'm still going to it just, uh, out of respect to, to the rest of people. Cause you know, some people, uh, do feel like it, you know, it does make a big difference for them. And I want to respect that. One more from me, obviously you had to enter the bubble a couple of days ago. Did you get a chance to, to go out and cast your vote? Uh, yeah, I voted right before, right before we left. So yeah, my, my wife and I both, we, we voted this year and, and, uh, yeah, you know, today's a, a interesting day for sure. You know, we won't be staying up all night. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we'll go to Gabriel. Hey, Austin. Just wondering, uh, I know you guys have posted a lot on social media, you and Paige, about making the move to American Top Team in Florida. Um, I'm assuming this must have come up about making that a more permanent move before. Why was now the right time? Uh, I think, you know, with, with everything, with uh, COVID going down, I mean, you know, we moved to, to Florida and, and uh, ironically, you know, got COVID from doing it. But, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think it was just, just the right time. You know, my wife had made some big changes in, in her career for the time being. And, and uh, yeah, you know, it just, it felt, it felt right. Um, you know, our, our managers helped us along with, with everything and, and uh, we we're an affiliate in Portland, you know, and, and uh, my head coach, Fabiano Scherner, who, you know, I still consider my my head coach. He uh, it was was a proponent for us going and, and trying it out and and being down there, you know, and, and it's tough. I feel like ATT down there is one of those places, you know, especially for myself being a, as competitive and, and uh, just wanting to be the best. Uh, you know, it, it's tough for me to imagine going there and you know, spending like a week and, and going back home or a month or something, you know, I think, I think it's something that, you know, I want to just live and breathe it and uh, be there. And, you know, it just, just happened to be the right time. Looking at the long view, you're at middleweight, you're a top prospect. I mean, you just had the title fight in your division. What were, what were your thoughts on it? And as a contender, do you see yourself? That's the ultimate goal to be the guy to take out a guy like Gega Musasi to win it all. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I fight to, to be the best and I, I fight to win every fight. And, uh, you know, I think if I continue to, to do that, you know, it's, it's all going to play itself out. And, and, uh, you know, I think, I think that should be everyone's goal. You know, if you're, you're fighting, you want to be the best, you want to fight for a title and, and all that. So, um, yeah, I, I did. And, you know, I think stylistically I'm a good fight and, uh, you know, I, I, uh, I'm excited for the day that I get that opportunity for sure. Gareth. Hi, Austin. It's Gareth calling from London. Good to see you with clothes on. <laughs> good, good to hear from you, buddy. <laughs> um, it, it's almost a year since you fought last. I mean, what have you managed to put together for yourself in that last, obviously the COVID test, notwithstanding that someone mentioned earlier, but what, how have you progressed your game in the last year? 
Yeah, you know, it, it, it was, it's just been one of those things that, uh, you know, unfortunately everyone had to go through and, and I was actually supposed to go to London and fight in May. So, you know, it's kind of a bummer that I didn't get that opportunity, but, uh, you know, I, I've tried to stay as busy as I can. Uh, Chael puts on his submission underground shows. Uh, I was able to compete against some really high level guys in that. And, uh, you know, I, from, from May on, you know, I've just, I've just been wanting to stay ready and, and, uh, be prepared for when the fight started back up. Unfortunately, I got sick and, and, uh, you know, I had to push the fight back a little bit, but really, you know, I, I feel like I've done everything I could to, to progress and get better, you know, by moving to American top team and, and doing all that. So, you know, I'm excited to go out and showcase. 9-0 overall, 3-0 in Bellator. Is it just important to keep that win column going now, You know, like you say, as you rise up the middleweight rankings? Yeah, but, you know, I think I think it's, you know, almost equally as important to, to show that I'm growing and progressing and, and uh, you know, getting better. I think, uh, you know, I, I like I talked about before you know my goal is to fight for a title and and uh continue to to get better and get to that point where i get that opportunity so you know more than anything that's that uh is what i really want but of course you know one goal in mind and and that's to go out and win win every fight and uh you know just be focused on the the fight at hand i got a really tough opponent on thursday and uh you know i i feel prepared and and ready to to go out and get the victory before Danny cuts me off. I'm going to ask two questions in one. Um, what do you know about Chris Curtis? And is your wife, Paige, really going into bare knuckle? So the funny thing is, you know, my opponents actually changed. It's not Chris Curtis anymore. Uh, he tested positive for, for COVID. So my, my new opponent is uh, Vinicius de Jesus. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, I know he's fought, fought some big fights. He's fought for Bellator in the past. And, uh, you know, he comes out, he's got some, uh, he's got some things that, that make him a dangerous fighter. So, uh, you know, I think I'm well-rounded. I think, uh, you know, I'm going to rely on, on what got me here to the show. And, and uh, I feel confident that that's going to be, you know, enough to, to go out and get a victory. And then for your second question, my wife, she, she did sign with Bare Knuckle. Um, you know, and th this was kind of a hard thing. You know, I, I'm really happy with where things are right now. Of course, you know, I'd be a liar if I said I didn't want her to, to be here and join me in Bellator and, and all that. But, you know, some she that decision took a lot of soul searching for her. And she felt like at, at this point in her career, she uh, she needed to make some changes and, you know, to continue to compete with the top girls. And, uh, you know, I think I think what she's doing now is going to uh, extend the longevity of her career. I know it sounds kind of kind of ironic because she's going to fight in bare knuckle but she's only 26 and you know this gives her the opportunity to work on some things really work on her striking be a much more dangerous striker and then also on the side you know knowing that she's more than likely going to come back to mma you know to to start to improve on some of the things that uh she could improve on and to really make her a much more well-rounded fighter and you know, I, I, I'm biased, but in my opinion, you know, be one of the best girls in the world. Good luck against Vinicius. Can't wait to see you. Go get the job done. Thank you, brother. Yep, we'll talk after. All right, we'll go to Dan. Take a couple more. Hey, Austin. How are you doing today? Doing good. Thank you. Uh, so you're facing a new point in Vinicius, who is, is different, but it is has much more, I guess we could say, experience this year, we could say, considering you've had a little bit of a layoff, how, how difficult is it to prepare or face an opponent at the last minute, especially one who has been active uh, recently? Uh, I, I, I don't really think that it's, you know, any difficult. I'm a professional and I say ready, I, I'm ready. You know, I'm more than anything, I, I'm focused on, on getting better myself and growing my skills and you know, rounding myself off, you know, being at American top team, you know, I see every style every day, you know, and, uh, you know, just as much for me as it is for him, you know, he's, I, I don't think he's fought someone like me before. So, you know, it's going to be different for him as well. Um, so, you know, like I said, at the end of the day, just being a professional and, and, uh, being fortunate for Bellator to go out there and get a new opponent for me and, 
you know, I'm excited to fight on Thursday. It's it's been too long, man. I, I would have definitely fought a lot earlier in this if I could have. Completely understandable. Just got one more question for you. Uh, with Paige going to bare knuckle, is it going to be an issue in regards to you and her uh, working together and training and, and whatnot, being her being in your corner, you being in her corner? Is there any issues on that front? No, and and you know, her and I are both, uh, her and I are both realistic on you know the situations. Of course, we we corner each other for fights, but you know, we both know, hey, if if there's a better option for you, then a hundred percent go and do that. There's no no hard feelings for us. We just want the best for one another as far as our our careers and, and fighting. Um, no, I mean, really, American Top Team has really set up a good. Uh, a good bare knuckle program right now. Uh, Tiago Alves just went and had his debut and I thought it looked amazing, you know, fighting somebody who had had the already had four bare knuckle fights or whatever. So they've got a good little crew going there and uh, it's kind of cool to see, you know, American top teams got like its own little bare knuckle fighting team and uh, all the coaches there are world-class, so experienced. And, uh, you know, we still go to practice same time every day, do, do all the same stuff. So really nothing's changed for us. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Rick. Hey, Austin, how are you doing? Doing good. Thank you so much. Um, my question is, um, right now you say you got sick from the COVID in the past, you and your wife. Yep. Um, what motivation can you give your fans out there in your media world to, who are going through this COVID situation right now? Could you repeat that one more time? Sure. Um, what motivation you will give your fans out there in the media world yeah. to, who have cases right now going going through with COVID? Uh, give uh, just some just some words. Uh, yeah. You know, I think, uh, man, you know, it, it definitely, it's a, a serious issue going on right now. Um, you know, and I just – you got to stay as healthy as you can and, and, uh, you know, just try to try to live a healthy life right now. And, and, uh, you know, for myself, I was fortunate to, to have a mild case and, and, uh, all that. And, you know, I just hope that those who are sick, that, that they just go through the mild cases and, you know, and just be respectful to people. All right. Thank you. All right. We'll take one more from Simon. Hey, Austin, hope you're doing well. First of all, I'm really digging the hat. I don't know if that's new or, or what's going on, <laughs> there, but I got to ask you, how nice is it going to be that uh, you're able to use all your tools uh, now that you're entering the MMA world as uh, your past few have actually uh, just been uh, on Submission Underground? Uh, it's so nice, man. I, I, you know, even doing interviews up for Submission Underground is, you know, talking. I'm an MMA fighter. I was just doing that stuff to uh, – to you know stay active and i'm very fortunate for chael for putting that on and and giving me the opportunity just to continue to compete and uh all that but i think for almost every single one of them i had i had gone to sparring the next day or the the day before saturday you know done hard sparring rounds and then went and competed so uh it's it's relieving you know i'm really happy to to just go out there and and do my thing and do what i do and i i'm just so thankful and fortunate that this is what I get to do for, for a job and, you know, go out and fight. I just, I love the fight. Awesome. So I appreciate the time and I wish you the best of luck on Thursday. Thank you, brother. All right. Thank you very much, Austin.